few flurries were flitting by our camera on the roof here at News 10. ABC has settled down at least for the time being, but there is more light snow shower activity where that came from here as we're getting your Thursday started. You can see no impacts on the roads this morning, but as the snow kicks in, uh, do get said that you could find some quickly, uh, rather quickly, the roads get a little bit slick uh, this morning. There's that little bit of flurry action pulling past Albany right now. It's sitting over Troy, extending back across the southeastern part of Rensselaer County, also hopping over between F Pittsfield and North Adams. Right now, continuing on towards Bennington as well, where you'll see a winter weather advisory go into effect at the top of the seven o'clock hour. Same story back into the Adirondacks. We pick up a few more of those flurries as well as we get the day started, but the more widespread action just filling in across the Catskills right now, and that will be nudging in over the next three hours. So between about seven and nine, we will see some light snow filling in area wide. And these accumulations that we get this morning are going to be very light, but just given how quickly we're going to see the action kick in uh, that we could see some slippery conditions, especially as this lines up with the morning commute. So for most of us across the capital region, a coating may be up to an inch through parts of the Mohawk Valley, certainly as you begin to climb through some of the higher spots east of the Hudson River. Meanwhile, into the mountains, that's where you could see one possibly locally up to three inches of snow, and that would be through this evening. But it's not just going to be snow with this storm. In fact, we got to surge to some milder air coming our way as we work through the afternoon hours. As this warm front starts to push in, so what is falling as soon now will eventually be rain by the afternoon. So as we get things started today, again, a burst of snow rise between about 7 and 9. That should be getting out of here by lunchtime. From there, temperatures start to climb. We'll be close to 40 in time for the ride home as the next wave builds in. Again, all rain. It will stay that way through the overnight hours as temperatures keep on climbing. Uh, there could be some tricky spots, especially the higher up you go. A little borderline temperature wise. By tomorrow, though, we're going to be waking up close to 50. Rain's going to come to an end quickly. And for from there, we'll watch our numbers tumble as we head into the weekend. So today, starting off with that light burst of snow that should be wrapping up close to lunchtime. All rain into the afternoon as temperatures make it to 40. We're going to keep on climbing through the night, pushing the lower 50s. We're waking up tomorrow morning. Rain ends. Temperatures fall on Friday. Chillier for the weekend. Highs low to mid 30s for us. But we are looking dry, quiet, straight through MLK Day on Monday.